hello guys this is code in code and this is video editorial for the problem distinct color taken from cses and this is from tree algorithms and we'll apply dp optimization to solve this problem we'll of course of course apply dp and along with that we have a much smaller into bigger dp optimization which we'll be applying on this problem to solve this because otherwise we are bound to get tle so the problem statement is simple you are given a tree and each node of the tree is having certain integer and for each node you have to find the total number of unique integer in its subtree for example for this node the total number of unique integer in its subtree would be three for this node it would be three as well right and for this node there will be only one unique integer in its subtree and so on so this is the problem statement if you haven't watched the previous lecture of uh, uh dp on tree course series then i highly advise you to do uh, to go and watch because uh this is basically continuation from the lecture fr uh, from the previous lecture of tree algorithm or uh, dp on tree series so i'll be putting the link of the course in the description of the video so you can go ahead and check out the lecture just before this okay so this is the problem statement uh so what we propose to do was this uh for each node we are going to use a set okay set of colors so size of this set is going to represent the number of unique unique colors in the subtree of of the given node why i'm calling these colors because uh, according to uh, according to the problem statement uh these integers represent color actually okay so for example in its subtree there is only two so this set only contains two in its subtree there is only four so this set contains only four uh, for this node to calculate the the color set of this node all you have to do is take the color set of child nodes and simply merge them along with this color so two four and three because of this so two four three same goes for this this node is having one four one and to calculate the color set of this all you have to do is merge all these three which would form one and four and add two because of this so it will become one two and four to calculate color set of this all you have to do is merge these two along with this color so it will uh, it will become one two three and four as you can see here okay size of these set represent the number of unique integer in its subtree so the overall algorithm was to merge all of the child nodes uh, color set to form the color set of the parent okay but the problem here is that this can result in worst case which we have already discussed in the previous lecture and the overall complexity can be n square and of course we want to uh, we want to avoid that condition uh, to optimize the solution what we can do we can use the similar idea that we use in disjoint data set that is union by rank uh, to merge two sets what you do you take two sets say a and b and you and you see which set is having higher rank that would be the parent and the other one would be a child okay now the similar kind of idea we are going to use here what we will do uh, the problem happens when we are going to copy we, when we have to copy the whole uh, color set of the child nodes right i uh, uh, for this case what i'll be doing i'll be creating a new set for this node and then in that new set i'll be first of all adding all of the element from this child node and same goes for this all of the element from this child node right and then adding this element as well now because of copying all of these element the worst case can happen so what we'll do for for certain node what we'll do for each child node of it we'll see who is ha having the maximum size of the color set okay so we'll take that color set and instead of copying it what we'll do uh we'll say okay since you have already calculated your result you don't need it anymore so let me use it directly i won't copy it but i will start from here okay so i'll directly take control of this and then start inserting other elements into this set and i'll call this mine okay so for this note we see that this child uh this color set and this color set both are having value three so what i can do i can take any of them so suppose i took this i took control of this so now instead of starting for this node 
to calculate the color set of this node instead of starting directly from a new set what i'll be doing i'll be taking control of this and this will be my starting point basically the head start so i'll be taking this and then merging all of the elements into it so i'll be merging two three four and then two from here and this would become a color set of this node okay and after that you can calculate the side of, uh, size of that color node and then if there is another parent of this node that can directly use its color set as well so the basic idea is find the child node which is having the maximum size of the color set and instead of copying it just take it take the control of it directly how you will do that well to do that we'll be using pointers let me show you solution see here instead of having a set of integer for every node i am having a pointer to set okay here you can see pointer operator so instead of having set i am having pointer to set so in the problem uh, in the main function nothing much is happening reading all of the colors of each node in the c array c for color okay and then edges and then making the graph after that since in the problem statement is it is mentioned that node 1 is the root i'm making dfs call to node 1 and then for each node uh, this is a for loop that runs from 1 to n okay for each node i'm printing the result okay the main thing that is happening is this the dfs let me show you what is happening inside the dfs first of all i need to find out what is the size of the uh, maximum color set out of all of the child node right for that we are using this maximum size and which node is having that maximum size right so for each child if it is not equal to parent we, we are making the dfs call to it so that it can calculate its color set after that i'm checking since these are pointer of course we will be using arrow operator okay instead of uh sorry instead of dot operator so i'm checking if the uh, set size is greater than current max if if that is the case then current max becomes set size of the current child and max node becomes child basically in these two statements i am checking which node which child node is having the maximum size of color set okay and this would represent the node which is having maximum size okay if mx node is equals to one oh, sorry minus one because i have initialized it minus one basically there, there there is no child okay in that case you need to create a new set if you don't uh, if the current node for example this node doesn't have any child it can't take control of any of the color set uh, right in that case you need to create your own new set so new set is being created otherwise you are directly taking control of it so you see uh, you are starting from the max node the node which is having the maximum color set right and this is a constant time operation this because uh, we are uh, this is reference only only the reference is being copied not the whole set because the this st array is array of pointer not array of uh, uh, offset so what will happen it is it will not copy the whole set into the set of current node but only the reference is being copied okay so this is constant time operation so we are directly starting we are directly taking control of the child which is having maximum size of that color array sorry color set after that be it the new set or you have taken control of it you need to insert the current uh, current nodes color into it right and then after for each other child node you have to merge their set into the into this color set as well right so you need to run again a for loop for all of the child except the max node because we have we have already taken control of its set so we don't need to insert the uh, nodes color from this node okay so child should be not equal to parent and child should not be equal to the max node which we have already copied not copied directly taken control of it for each other child we are traversing through all of the color in their set and then inserting in the current color set for the current node and after that of course result that is the size of the color set is equals to uh, color set dot size as simple as that okay and now this is 
result in n log n overall time complexity why first of all we are using sets so each insertion takes log n time where n is assumed to be size of that set okay so basically it introduces a log n factor right uh, and the overall time complexity of this algorithm is because of n but because of the using set log n factor is being introduced and hence n log n is the overall complexity why the complexity of this algorithm is log n or oh sorry big o of n right from n square uh, the proof of it i'll be posting uh, i'll be adding a, a link to the video for the proof of this algorithm for the running time algorithm uh, running time proof for this algorithm and that team william uh, have explained that pretty well so i'll be putting the link in the description of this video where he has explained the running time complexity of the algorithm why it is big o of n for those guys who don't know who that guy is he's i uh, i believe he's seven star programmer at least six star but i think he's seven star programmer at code chef uh, and he has explained pretty well that why the uh, running time complexity of such algorithm where you are merging smaller into bigger is big o of n in this specific case log n factor is being introduced because of the using of set because of the use of set uh, so just for now forget about that log n factor the overall complexity from n square is being reduced to big o of n and why uh, because of this merge smaller into bigger technique this technique that that we just used is called uh, merge smaller into bigger okay and why its running time is reduced to big o of n he has provided the proof so i'll be providing the link of the video where he has explained the running time complexity of this algorithm so if if there is any other doubt please let me know in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you